women during elimination because I just want to see the models. We can't see the models from here. get my water honey because your girl is down two pounds i feel like the world has lifted a couple of things off my chest i'm feeling so good let me pull up some of these images y'all because i don't want to sit here and talk like i know what's going on when i don't know what's going on i gotta have my notes here so if you see me looking down here it's just that i'm looking for my notes per use per use you know um you guys know i love doing this review on thick house thick house is a show i've been following since it's begin since it started and it's just a really really good show so i'm coming here to share my review on this tv show and um give you the rundown of all the things that are going on so let's get into it <laughs> While you're at it, go ahead and follow Melanin Uncut. This is a podcast that me and my cousin do. We talk about love, relationships, and black culture. So if you like topics like that, go ahead and follow us. Also, make sure you go ahead and support For the Culture for My People. Pick up your t-shirt and merch today. So as you see on the title of this video, we are going to be reviewing Thick House episode four. And this is such a good episode. One being that it's all about swimsuits. And if you are plus size, if you are a curvy diva like myself, then you might really be into this. It depends on what side of the curvy spectrum are you on. If you're a little conservative or if you're a little frisky. If you're frisky like me, then this is definitely up your speed. So in this episode, it's um, four models remaining. Honey, they done kicked off um who was her name son no it wasn't such a lola they kicked off lola last episode episode three lola got kicked off honey they gave her the boot they kicked her baldness all the way back to the moon okay so lola is completely gone and now we're left with four women and we have jaleesa we have sunshine um we have amara amarachi uh, Amarachi, I think I'm saying her name right. Yes, Amarachi, and we have Asia. So we have these four ladies who now are remaining, and they are greeted with um, EJ and Takura and Kelly, who's always in the cut somewhere. But um, they need to give Kelly more airtime because Kelly only gets to say a few words. She never really gets to say too much. But they're greeted. And they're talking about their new challenge, which is going to be modeling for swimsuits and looking sexy, pretty much bringing that sex appeal back into the plus size community and how they're going to be fashionable and how they're going to convince us um, what they're going to be wearing and what type of swimsuit and poses they're going to be doing. The catch is, though, that they actually are going to have to pick their own pictures. So once they get like their finalized uh I get snapshots of all their photos. The models are required to pick their own pictures. So then we're greeted with a plus size model that they have as a guest appearance. And um, they have her and she's just pretty much there for coaching. She's gonna coach the girls on different poses, different looks. And she gives me cute, she gives me a real cute vibe, very um, Forever 21. She gives me Samantha vibes, that cutesy look. So this girl, she's like a, a profound plus size model, blase, blase. And by the way, I was really in love with her black swimsuit. She was giving me complete vibes. Where did you get that swimsuit, girl? Because I want to pick that up. So she goes into the pool and she goes on the photo shoot where the girls are doing the challenges and she's just showing them the different poses. But before they get into that, I don't want to move too fast because I feel like I'm moving a little too fast. So what got me is that now they're in the dressing room and um, I love this face that Sunshine is making because that's a real struggle face. And Sunshine pretty much shares her, you know, views on how the show, ha um, how the challenges has been thus far. 
um amarachi is pretty much worried about her place she's just like honey i don't want to be at the bottom ever again then she kind of threw a little shade at asian actually like girl how does it feel to be at the bottom like she wasn't at the bottom but here i don't know i don't know why amarachi really said that but she pretty much asked asia you know girl how does it feel to be at the bottom and asia because like girl it does not feel good and then amarachi's like honey i'm not trying to be there again and asia said well i wish you the best of luck pretty much <laughs> Anyway, so, you know, they get a little shady when it comes to that little dressing room. So, now we are into the scenery where now the girls are going to be, um taking pictures of they're gonna get their uh poses on their swimsuits they're gonna look sexy and glossy in the water and this is why this is my favorite episode because i really feel like it's so important that plus size women get that look you know i know sometimes people like to say oh why does everybody have to be over sexualized i understand but it's something very appealing to see you know confidence and it's just exuding just everything that you know so sometimes society doesn't think as sexy you know like plus size women just are not considered sexy you know we're always struggling to just feel beautiful and confident and I really felt like all the women brought that to this episode I really must say that all I feel like all the women brought their a game they definitely showed off their curves and they definitely look confident to me so we are greeted with Jaleesa and Jaleesa is just giving wet mermaid look real cute and I must say Jaleesa you are giving me look like you are a cute ass female let me say that no no not trying to get with you girl but I'm just trying to say the honest truth you are looking really really good um I really like like Jaleesa's face I think it just really gave me like I don't know how to describe a really lily bronze and nude vibe so I really like Jaleesa's face her poses were a bit weak but we're used to Jaleesa doing that Jaleesa usually plays in a safe uh guard she never really goes out of her way she just does the typical cute poses um you know stuff that we saw like in her previous episodes so um Jaleesa um doesn't surprise me keeps it safe um, there was nothing really pizzazz other than she has just a really beautiful face. Like, Jaleesa just naturally has a beautiful face. So, um, Takora felt the same way. Takora just felt like, you know, she played it safe and so she continued. So now we're greeted with, um... Sunshine and Sunshine is my girl, man. Like something about Sunshine really stands out to me. I personally think that she is meant to be a model. She just has a real uh, natural gift for it when it comes down to her poses, to her um, creativity, to just even how her how she carries herself like i feel like she's always taking the chance going outside of the norm and she's just really bringing it bringing it pretty much so um i really like how sunshine looked i like her look i like her hair down to her outfit i love that two-piece leopard set that that looked really good is it snake print or leopard set let me see okay snake print yeah it, it gives me no it's like a cheetah print it's like a gray cheetah print pattern. I don't know my prints like that, y'all. But that thing was a cute set. I actually would pick that up. Like, she sold me on that outfit. Because it really flattered her. You know, she has more of a pear shape. And so sometimes, you know, her bottom is really heavy. But in this outfit, it looked really, really well put. Real put together. She didn't look like she was all over the place. Her high bun looked really good on her. And she just gave me real um, uh, couture look. Like, it just looked high end. It looked really, really well. And real, um, it looked really put together and I, I just I was into it I really liked her look um she continued to give us poses honey uh when I tell you sunshine gave us poses she gave us poses I mean body was out for days okay body was out for days um Takora really felt the same way Takora really loved sunshine I could tell that Takora really loved sunshine's um, aura she loved her attitude she loved the creativity she loved all the things that we saw on our end and you know she was really giving a lot to the camera and I really feel like she pulled that off so sunshine shout out to you I think you did an amazing job once again 
I will say that I kind of want to see Sunshine take it to another level. I know like it's kind of hard because she does so well, but I just want to see something really, 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 really unique that I'm just like, oh my God, Sunshine really stands out. So I can't wait maybe later on in the um, season for her to do something that just stands completely out. Then we are greeted with... Um, Asia. So now we have Asia and Asia, I've said it and I'll say it again. Asia is a baddie. She gives me baddie vibes. She gives me definitely like I am here. I am sexy. And she gives me Instagram looks like she gives me all of that. And don't get me wrong. I don't think she's limited. I think she could do more things, but she really does give me baddie vibes. So um, long story short, Asia kills it. I think honestly, she was the best uh, model that posed for this challenge. She not only brought something um, other than, you know, just her poses and stuff like that, but she actually went out of her way i like how she got her hair wet i like how she was dipping in the water actually embracing the water she gave me true um goddess vibes and i don't think any of the ladies really took it that far and she really took it far she was fearless on this um photo shoot and you could tell she was determined to make sure that she was going to get the looks and the pictures that she needed so shout out to um asia uh sakura was on her set to Cora had some really great feedback for Asia. The only thing she did say was that the, uh, Asia needs to slow down with her poses and don't let the crew or production around her force her to move any faster. So I thought that was very uh, constructive criticism. And then now we get into Amarachi. And I will say this, Amarachi has really grown on me over the few episodes. I didn't really care for her at the beginning. I thought she gave me mom vibes. Like she just looked really old and outdated. But now as I see her more, I really am fond of Amarachi. I think she's starting to glow up in her own way. And I didn't even know how big Amarachi breasts were. She has like a really huge rack. And I was like, whoa, Amarachi. And I'm like, oh, now I see why you're called Kirby. Because I almost couldn't see at the beginning. I don't know what I was looking at. I think there were just too many girls. But now that I have time to look at Amarachi, I definitely think and see the model that is in her. She is... um. I don't know what's going on. The the hair and the makeup, all this is starting to play into her and she's looking really, really, really good. So um, shout out to Amarachi. I do feel like Amarachi played it super safe. She didn't really do anything that stood out at all during this photo shoot. I was a little disappointed because I wanted her to kind of get into that, you know, embrace that um, curvy side. I really wanted her to get into that sexy side, but she really played it safe. And I think that's because she may not be used to that. She might be used to just, you know, posing and she's kind of in that Jaleesa era. Like they, they're used to being safe, but not too safe. But every time Amarachi goes for it, she looks stunning. And, I, and that, like even when she did the bald head and she was kind of nervous that it wouldn't look on, on her. But honestly, Amarachi looks sexy with a bald head. The same thing with the swimsuits. I think she overthinks and she doesn't really have, she has the confidence, but I think she second guesses herself a lot. Because when she really bring when she has the look, she has it. Like she could take it to the next level. Um, um, so now, uh, once all the girls are finished, it's time for elimination. And elimination, it just means that someone is going to definitely go home today. And I kind of have my few models that I think are going to go home, but I'll share it at the end. So we are greeted with uh, Jaleesa walking down and, you know, Jaleesa gave us a little look, nothing serious. Anytime they have elimination and they talk about the women's wardrobe, I really don't think I see anything that stands out, but I guess that's just a part of the show. So, um... Jaleesa walks down. They ask Jaleesa, how do you think she did, um, how she did on the, uh, the photo shoot? And Jaleesa usually says the same thing. I did amazing. I'm great. I'm wonderful. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I get the whole be confident, but I don't know, Jaleesa. I think, you know, and she comes up with a cute word called curvidence and it's just curves and confidence put together, which was really cute. I've never heard of that. And they were like, yes, curvidence, curvidence. And you know, she said she had all the curvidence in the world. So then we are met with Amarachi who comes down and she has like this black sequence gown on, long dress. And I didn't, I wasn't crazy about it. Honestly, I felt like her hair was too long. The dress was too, like it just, it just, 
it, it I didn't I couldn't even see the outfit I really didn't know um as I said before I really cannot wait till season two where um thick house they can just put a light just put like a big light bulb over the women during elimination because I just want to see the models we can't see the models from here so I just really can't wait till they put like a light bulb right above their heads just anything because we can't see the models but um and the angle isn't that great I don't like the angles that they have the girls in I don't think it's flattering but here no say so um, Arachi felt like, you know, she picked out her pictures and Amarachi um, picked out the worst pictures. I was surprised Amarachi um, picked them out. I was like, Amarachi, um, like, what happened? Why did you pick those pictures? Like, they were super basic. But she felt like those were the best pictures. And, you know, you never know why she picked those pictures. Maybe those other pictures really weren't really nice. But I'm pretty sure she had better pictures that she could have picked from. Um, then we get into um, Sunshine and sunshine did amazing everybody said it everybody felt like sunshine really brought it as always the only complaint i heard was that sunshine keeps doing the same facial expression and they wanted her to change that up but i do think that is sunshine's signature look that whole damsel in distress or that whole like i don't know like just like, she kind of does this, like, real, like, you know, she has a signature look. I don't know how to do it. But she has a real signature look, and I think that's Sunshine's look. I think she does, she's she been doing that from the beginning. And it's something about her eyes. Like, Sunshine has the most beautiful eyes, and it's very captivating, and she knows it. So she does what she's good at. And her poses were on point. I think, she, um, personally, Sunshine probably had a whole bunch of pictures that she could have picked from, and she picked those two which were amazing and um yeah they gave a lot of looks a lot of body and it definitely sold the swimsuit for me um then lastly we get into asia and asia is looking amazing uh asia had so many poses so many different looks and out of all the models the judges were really 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 impressed with asia i personally think um asia and sunshine are going to be the last two um, I personally just think that I think they're going to be the last two who are going to be up for deliberation when it comes down to, um, these models. So I don't know, guys, I could be wrong, but I really think it's going to be these two. Um, now we're going to get into elimination again of where they're going to pick the top, bo top, top two bottoms. And they ended up picking, they ended up picking Jalisa and Amarachi, which I wasn't surprised because they were the two weakest um links the they were the two weakest poses they weren't really that great and i really wasn't surprised that it was jaleesa again because um i just i'm not picking on jesus i really like her believe it or not i just feel like jaleesa talks a good game but i don't know so uh jaleesa and amarachi are here and they both go into how, you know, Jaleesa plays it safe. They talk about Amarachi, you know, continues to, uh, you know, she, this is her second time. It's both of their, no, I think it's Jaleesa's, no, it's her second time. Both of their second time being at the bottom. And they just talk about that. And um, the judges make it really, you know, they draw it out. They say, oh, who's going to go home? Who's next? And um, they came down to uh, Jaleesa actually going home. So Jaleesa actually did go home in this challenge. She was the one who was uh, kicked off. And I don't think she was that disappointed. I think she was kind of like, okay, I got kicked off. Um, she's not really worried about it. Uh, Jaleesa, pretty ha Jaleesa has a pretty good following on social media already. And she does her own thing. So I think with this is just exposure for Jaleesa more so than anything so her going home wasn't really like a big deal personally because she also did plus size modeling before getting on the show so if anything it just added more exposure for her um i do think it was time for jaleesa to go home though because she just wasn't giving it anymore i i was bored seeing jaleesa honestly so that was just my uh that's just my opinion 
but um overall there are three girls left and we will see that in the next episode episode five but um this was my review this is just how i felt about uh episode four um let me know down below um how do you practice your curvidence uh, do you think Jaleesa should have gone home? Do you think it should have been Amarachi? Leave it down below in uh, the comments. Let me know. And of course, if you want to continue to subscribe, and if oh, and of course, if you want to continue to support, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. I actually did like a little TikTok thing, which I'm very proud of myself. Um, but you can also follow me on Instagram. Let me know next time uh, what shows you want me to review. Um, give commentary on and I will see you guys next time. Love and peace guys. Bye.